The Samsung Galaxy Note Edge can almost be called an experiment as it features a one-of-a-kind curved display that stretches along the entire right-hand side of the device. It's an experiment because, well, no other phone manufacturer has been able to do something like this and nobody, not even Samsung, is sure if you nor I will like it. So let's take a closer look at the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge to see just how it works and who it's made for here on BoHD. Hey, what is up tech enthusiasts, Bo HD here, and the Note Edge is definitely one of the most unique devices released in 2014 due to the fact that it features a curved display that bends around the entire side of the device. In terms of hardware, the side of the device with the curved display doesn't actually have that much going on in terms of buttons and ports, since it does have to make room for that display, of course. The top is actually where you'll find the power sleep on off button, as well as the 3.5mm headphone jack and IR blaster. There is also the volume rockers on the left hand side and the standard micro USB charging port down below at the bottom with the S Pen stylus here as well. The front is where you'll find the 5.6 inch 2K QHD Super AMOLED display, so it's actually a tiny bit smaller than the standard Note 4's display. The 3.7 megapixel front facing camera and Samsung home button is definitely here as well. And the back features the 16 megapixel camera sensor and flash as well as a heart rate monitor and you'll find that fox leather back cover here as well. And to be honest, you know, metal would be nice here, but this really isn't that bad at all. It allows you to swap out the battery and actually insert a micro SD card, which is awesome, and it adds a ton of grip, so you definitely won't be dropping this thing very frequently. But for all of you metal heads, metal is definitely present here. It's on the side of the device. Actually, the entire frame is made of aluminum with chamfered edges. And you know, if you're going to pick up and choose an area to add metal, it should definitely be the sides because it just makes the overall device feel much more premium with the higher quality build materials. Now let's talk about the curve because that's what you all want to see. So first of all, it's made for right-handed people. If you use your phone with your left hand like me, then you're going to have to flip it upside down, which you can definitely do. And Samsung definitely does add some on-screen navigation controls here if you want to do that. You can tell that it's most definitely not the intended way to use this device though. But the curve itself allows you to open applications. You can create folders here. You can also view Twitter feeds and sports scores through Yahoo along with news and weather for that matter. Basically apps and notifications can be displayed here and there's a pretty good selection here. What I really like about it is that you can customize all sorts of stuff, whether it's the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge text that is displayed here when the curved portion of the display isn't being used, or the apps and notification panels themselves. You can surprisingly do a lot with the edge portion of the display by swiping through it with your thumb. Just once again, it's going to work best for right-handed users. As for the rest of the phone, it's going to be very similar to the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. The display is fantastic. It's actually the best mobile display I've ever used or seen on a smartphone. The Snapdragon 805 quad-core processor and 3GB of RAM make this device extremely fluid and responsive. I mean, multitasking is a breeze here. And even TouchWiz is much more toned down here on the Note Edge and Note 4 this year. It's flatter and less visually overwhelming. I mean, it's certainly no stock Android, but I will say it's the best TouchWiz experience to date. The camera itself is also the same as the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. It does capture fantastic images, and the 4K video quality that is captured from this device is among the best out there in terms of 4K footage captured from a smartphone. I mean, it's just super impressive to see what Samsung has been able to do with the cameras here on the Note devices released in 2014. But really, the big other noticeable difference here between the Note Edge and the Note 4, besides the display, is the battery life, as the Note Edge has a 3000 mAh battery. Now, the Note lineup has always been famous for its long-lasting battery, and the Note Edge does have a solid battery life. It can reach about 7 hours on a single charge, which is pretty darn good but it's just not quite as good as the eight and a half plus hours or so found on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, which has a 3220 milliamp battery. But overall, the Note Edge is a fantastic device. There's no question about it. I mean, there are some trade-offs, you know, if you want a curved display, you're going to have to settle with a slightly smaller battery. If you're a techie like myself, who's fascinated in the latest and greatest in mobile technology, then this phone is probably yours already. I mean, honestly, I probably wouldn't be able to persuade you one way or the other. And you know, if you're also like me in the sense that you're a left-handed user, then let's face it, this phone really just isn't made for us in mind. 
I would definitely recommend this device for a right-handed user, only just because it would make things much easier. With that said though, by itself the Note Edge is a fantastic device, however it is accompanied with the Note 4 which is also a fantastic device that doesn't have the curve but does have more room for some slightly better specs, all for a slightly cheaper price tag. And you are going to pay more for the concept. I mean, the Note Edge is going to cost you about $100 to $150 more than the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, coming in at around $399 on contract at AT&T, or $800 off contract, give or take. Which, by the way, big shout out to AT&T for sending me this review unit to share with you guys. So that is my review of the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. Let me know if you think the Note Edge is worth it for you and why by leaving me a comment down below. As always, I am BoHD. I hope you enjoyed this video. It would be awesome if you guys gave it a big thumbs up. Maybe hit that subscribe button if you are new. But with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.